back to the Mr. Excel Netcast. I'm Bill Jung. Well, it's Tuesday morning, and just a few minutes ago, I recorded Tuesday's podcast where Scott from Australia sent in a question about lottery numbers, and I'd said that on Wednesday, I'd take a look at an analysis of how to choose the most popular lottery numbers. Well, I started to think about that, and the Mega Millions is up to 216 million. That's in about 11 states in the United States, and the drawing is Tuesday night. So we're moving Scott's question to Wednesday, and right now, we're going to pull the numbers from the Mega Millions website to take a look at how we can use a pivot table to find the most popular numbers in Excel. Now, in tomorrow's podcast, which was originally Tuesday, so it'll be on Wednesday, I say that we'll take a look at the numbers the next day and it'll all be confused. I'm so sorry. But anyway, so here we go. We went out to the Mega Millions website and they have under winning picks, a place where you can download all of the numbers. So I went to this site and the data is beautiful. It's comma delimited. I basically copied this and pasted it into Excel and then use data text to columns in order to get everything into a single column. So what I have is I have the date, the number that was drawn, and whether it was part of the regular drawing or the mega ball number. So I'm going to choose one cell in the database and use data, pivot table, and pivot chart report and just click finish. I would get a brand new worksheet where I get a list of the fields in my original data set and a blank pivot table where I can drop things. So I'm going to take the number field and drop that along the left hand side. And as you'd expect, we'd see a list of numbers from 1 to 56. This particular lottery draws numbers from 1 to 56. And now we need to count those. And in order to count, I want to take some sort of a text field over. And it happens that I have this type field. I'm going to drop that in the data items. And because it contains text, it's going to give me a count instead of a sum. I wouldn't want to sum the numbers because then every time a 56 came up, it would get 56 points instead of the number 1, which would only get 1. So I used count of type here. Now I'm going to double click on the number button and then click advanced and say that I want to sort this descending based on the count of type. That will bring the most popular numbers to the top. Click OK. Now in this particular lottery there's two basic drawings. There's five numbers that are in a regular pool and then one number which is the mega number. I'm going to take the type field and drop it up in the page area and say that I just want to see the regular numbers. All right, so based on this, the five most popular numbers over the history of the lottery are 32, 5, 22, 47, 42, and 17. Now, there's a three-way tie there. If you're going to play the lottery, you have to choose whether you're going to choose 47 and 42 or which combinations of those. Now, for the money ball, the, the fifth ball, the one that really makes things, uh, you know, it, it really increases the odds here, basically. If I choose the money ball, you'll see that because I chose the auto sort under the advance button, that even after I pivot the table, I choose a different filter, I still have the most popular numbers at the top. And this says that the most popular number that shows up in the money ball or the mega ball is the number three. So there you have it. Go out and play the lottery. If we all hit, we'll never have to watch the podcast again. Thanks for stopping by. Tomorrow we'll get to Scott's question. That was originally the Tuesday podcast. Now it'll be the Wednesday podcast. Thanks for stopping by.